Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Salyer fields it at the 18. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Kirk, today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in college football. Hawthorne's footwork, his great hands, his speed, he is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He's really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some doubles, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually, he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at about the 35. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 26. That brings up second and one. And it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. From the 20-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 19. and he's hit hard immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 16-yard line. made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He gets to about the 24-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He takes it right side for a good game. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. out to around the 38. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They keep it on the ground with a tailback and he's taken down at the 37 yard line. And 
That's a first down. They'll bring him down at the 48. From their own 48-yard line. First down. A two-yard run by the halfback. there before he stepped out of bounds. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And tackle after a decent run up the gut. Tenth play of the drive. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. for more action here in quarter number two. Mike four, Mike four. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. And this is the 12th play of the drive. The 10. He's taken down right around the eight-yard line. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. Have a quick almost pick. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision. But that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Here's play number 14 of this drive. He's tackled the 13-yard line. Third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He lets it fly. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter psyche? He splits the uprights with the extra point. A long 15-play, 83-yard drive, and they put up seven points. like they're ready for the kick. Durbin takes it at the 16. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. 
They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Third and long now after the sack. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Hey. Hey. He fires. Finds the freshman. And they make the stop at about the 43 yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Around five yards there on the option keep. That brings him second and five. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. He's scrambling, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Richardson is lined up to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Salyer will be the return man. Salyer fields it at the 27, and down he goes at the 38-yard line. 
I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Pressured and brought down. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. A little toss across the middle, and he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Throws a strike over the middle. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Going long. Almost picked off. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And 
you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he's stopped behind the line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 34. That's good for a game of 10 yards. Third down. him hard at the 35 yard line they might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play action pass there but by going to the ground they didn't have much of an opening salyer is the deep man awaiting the return gets to about the 34 yard line I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 33-yard line. My four, my four. Archer on a counter. Good outside run there. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. He makes the catch and has a first down. And he tackles him hard at the 37. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Up the middle for a nice game. Archer gained seven yards on that play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. At about the seven-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the five-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. It's recovered.
This is the ninth play of this drive. quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. This will make it a field goal game. It's up and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. The Rams continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From their own 33-yard line, first down. They'll work the left side. Brought down around the 31-yard line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 33. He's under some heat. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Salyer takes it at the 23. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Nice run there. Archer picks up five with the carry. That's a five on the play. That brings him second and five. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He's knocked out of bounds. 42-yard line. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Rams lead 10-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Here we go, D, get off the field. Mike four, Mike four. He's taken down at about the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds around the 20 yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. J. 
just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Complete across the middle. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Five wide. He fights forward to about the seven. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. That brings up second. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Make it 100 yards rushing for it. And that gave this offense their fifth first down on this drive, too. They've really been rolling with this guy leading them. Third down and goal to go. About a yard to Pater. And it pays off. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. The offense is in desperation mode, and the defense is thinking, guys, one more stop, and we can get out of here with a win. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. A two-yard run by the halfback. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Pressure got to him and he put it on the ground. The defense scoops it. The 10. What a play. Brought down inside the five. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they make the stop at the six-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Just under three to go in regulation. themselves in a great spot. And he converts the extra point. Richardson is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The Rams have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 36. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Once and all, going deep. Can't pull it in. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, tackle made at about the 45. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Under pressure, slides down. Receiver touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A six play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Keep the football, and they're only down two scores. I thought they were out of this football game, but they're really starting to make this game interesting. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's going to come up with a sack. He wants it all going long. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 56-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Still first first down. Down. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that'll mean a victory. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. 
He's into the open field. Runs it left for a decent game. The Panthers using their third and final timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Under a minute left in the game. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He's tackled at the 28. Hawthorne's miserable day comes to an end, but hey, the important part is they got the win. Yeah, you talk about a day to forget as far as his individual performance, but the big thing is this team was able to win the football game and able to overcome his off day. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.